welcome to Thursday. It's a little bit of a mad one today. Oh, I just need to turn some lights off. Everybody's in a bit of a rush this morning. And we've got play group today. We've got a different lip colour on. It doesn't look very... Well, it looks alright. I quite like it. That's all that matters, I guess. Are we all ready to go? No. Hi everybody. It is uh, about 3.45 in the afternoon and this is the first time I'm picking up the vlog camera. Oopsie. Today has consisted of me taking the kids to school, having a really long chat and then going to play group, having some lovely tea and coffee. Well no, I just had tea and toast. And then coming home, doing some work on the computer, talking to Adam on the phone because he's in London, and then picking the kids back up. And that's basically all I've done. Oh, well, obviously I took Seth to nursery in between. And that's about it, really. And now we're home and I am going to put my pyjamas on. The kids have gone upstairs to put their pyjamas on because it's cold. And that's about it. Now, all the lovely comments that you lot keep giving me are so nice, but it's making me realise that people like the dogs. <laughs> Probably a lot more than they like us. So I thought I'd introduce you to our dogs properly. So this is Day. Day. Hello. She is a Siberian Husky. She's nearly 10 years old. They were born in April and we got them in the July. Um, she likes warm hugs. <laughs> <laughs> and cuddles she's diabetic so has to have injections every morning and night but other than that she's fine and she's and called fine. she's called day because she, when she was a puppy she still has got blue eyes but when she was a puppy she had dazzling blue eyes and her sister night 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 at the playroom this is night has beautiful brown eyes come here so night is at actually her proper sister they're from the same litter Yes. and we got them together we was only going to get one but there was only two left in the litter and i couldn't pick and i couldn't leave one behind so we ended up getting both of them she has beautiful brown eyes so she was night so we wanted a day and night and um, we wanted like we was going to have light and dark or <laughs> salt and pepper i think we was going to have at one point um and that's about it so she's a little bit lazier your salt your pepper who's lazier so night's a little bit lazier than day um but we'll still play just as much but just the different personalities day's a lot more she seeks the attention a lot more than night night will happily sit without any attention i'm saying that now as night's following the kids around trying to get attention night what are you doing Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So, yes, so this is our doggies, day and night. And because they're Siberian Huskies, they do talk to you if you talk to them in their language as such. What are you doing? It doesn't take a lot to get them going. In the mornings, they'll say good morning to you, so they'll be like, oh, rah, 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 rah. Wait, what is it? Are you just showing off now? Are you not showing off? Are you crazy? Okay, you can stop now. And there are dogs, so for everybody that was asking, stop it. <laughs> that's them <laughs> crazy fools but they are very very loving very soft soft the love and obviously they've been along around a lot well they've been around longer than any of the kids <laughs> all right you pack it in now and you had another dog before school we did have another dog before day and night her name was maddie and she was a german shepherd unfortunately when she was three though she got liver failure or kidney failure liver or kidney failure i can't remember which and we had to have a put down which was very 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 sad and i cried a lot so mary ben what how's your day at school been um fine fine you're all nice and cozy in your pajamas now what have you been rolling in mud you have mud no. on your face i thought that jam for a moment <laughs> it's so sticky though no it's definitely mud 
Oh, well. No, I have not. What have you done at school today? Uh, I'm talking about maps and stuff. Talking about what? Maps. Maps. Have you learned anything about maps? Uh, yeah. What have you learned? Well, I've told most of the kids that. Well, only told Peter that. Um, the colours are like, if it's a dark colour, it's quite a hot country. And if oh. it's green, it's cold and hot. Or, and if it's pink or white. Or and where did you learn that? Um, I don't know. Did you learn it at Beavers? I think. I'm not sure. Mm. I do remember. And was Mr. Min was your teacher impressed with you? Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm very I glad. I was the only one there who knew it. Good. I'm very glad. I got beat just on one question. Oh, well done. Well, I think maybe two. Well done. I'm not sure. Okay then, there we go. So yeah, I'm gonna go get my pajamas on now and just get nice and cozy and warm because the temperature's dropped again and it's gone cold. <laughs> editing the vlog and put that live i've been watching some other youtube videos and i've also been listening to music and i'm feeling a bit you're right there buddy yeah it's just me and you on the vlog today i think uh, i've been feeling not like sad or anything just like with these videos that we create we create it to capture the memories these little you know, munchkins, don't think there's any in there, bud. Because, obviously, my parents have both died now, so my memories of my parents are completely in my head. Obviously, I've got photos, and um, I've got some videos of my dad, because we did start vlogging when my dad was still alive. But ultimately, these videos are all about capturing memories for ourselves to look back on when the kids were little. And for them, because one day we will be gone you know hopefully in about eight years time but one day we will be gone and I've just had a bit of a am I doing them justice kind of moment no I don't know it, videoing and editing every day takes oh. up quite a lot well the videoing doesn't take up time but the editing does take up a fair amount of time and I don't want to just, I don't know, I don't want to just rush them anymore. I don't want to just hash them together. I want it to be, a, a, you know, a true representation of our day. And I want it to be a good quality representation. And I want it to capture the beautiful moments in everyday life. And not just me talking away at the camera. Although... Obviously, I do really like watching vlogs like that as well. But I want to capture just, you know, just when they turn and smile and the very beautiful moments. And yes, I'm having a bit of a, oh, I'm not really doing justice to the, to the videoing and editing. some work on my laptop I'm sat doing this a whole lot of typing um, if you read the blog the blog if you read the blog you will know that I like writing I like writing quite a bit and that's what I'm doing so I find when Adam's home late that I feel more, I get quite a lot of inspiration when he's at home, when he's not here, but I know he's coming home. Now, if he was stopping away, I'd be like, I don't know, I'd be in locking up mode and I'd be checking the house is locked up, the heat's turned off, the lights turned off, the dogs have got water. And even though I do still do all of that, for whatever reason, 
I don't feel as stressed about doing that when I know he's coming home. I'm very strange. <laughs> so I wrote a new blog post today as well, which I'm not sure if I'm going to publish. Adam needs to vet it first because it's a little bit like a little bit of a look into my crazy mind. Oh well. We've all got a little bit of a crazy side to us. So he should be home, hopefully. I'm just tracking him on Find My Friends. <laughs> Do any of you track your husbands or your partners or your kids or anything like that on Find My Friends? Look, there he is. Hooey. He's on the M42. So, let's see how far away he is from me. Oh, I'm not very good at this one-handed thing he's not a million miles away he's back hello hello you got to be up early again yes oh dear can you wear yourself out at this rate i'm talking about driving tomorrow he's getting a train to liverpool we'll see how many different forms of transport i can use this week I'm not sure we're going to get a boat to though <laughs> Oh yeah, you need to get a boat. <laughs> we get a boat to Ireland, but that takes yeah. four ages. That takes four ages. Takes four ages. Oh, I was going to say it takes forever, but it takes four ages. Oh well. But yes, he's home. He's back with us. I bet you want to just go to sleep now, don't you? Yeah. Oh. How was your day today? Was it productive? Yeah, it was alright. Fairly productive. That's alright. I didn't think you could do what you needed to do at one point. I didn't get to do what I wanted to do, but it was still productive. That's good then, I suppose. I'm glad. And hopefully Thanks. you'll get lots of work done on the train tomorrow as well. Hope so. If I can get a table. Are you in asleep? I might sleep, yeah. <laughs> oh, bless. Sleep or work. Can't decide yet. Bless ya. Right then, I was waiting for him so we could end the vlog. You're the closer. I'm the closer. You're the closer. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Yes, thank you. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.